and welcome back. So crossing this long bridge, you don't want to break on me now. All right, nocturnal forest. And of course, implied by the name, we haven't completely escaped the darkness yet. And it could possibly get a little worse than that, too. With the quicksand here, could get a little bit of sand in his eye. <sighs> Nothing better than being scared and not even being able to see what it is. Yeah, but for others, it could be a good thing. If they're scared of what something looks like, then at least they don't have to look at it anymore. That's the bright side of that. Uh, flowers will probably brighten the day here. Only if we find enough of them, though. It'll probably take more than just the three that are going to be in a level. Okay, uh, let's take another leaf. Let's go forward. Okay, uh, so we go from green quicksand, we now have green water. Right, another flower. Do I get a little reward? No, still nothing for defeating a birdo. Take this, uh... Wondering why the fireballs were green too, but forgetting that, of course, it's Luigi. But it still blends in too, I must admit. Uh, could easily fool uh, a piranha plant or someone. Piranha plant's gonna be worried at all. And why is that disconnected? Yeah, up, up there. Nothing at all. Hmm. I'll climb another one though. Alright, that one is fine. These ones are all fine. And how am I... Well, uh, maybe I could... Well, I could probably reach, but all I really needed was some invisible note blocks, apparently. So, uh, nothing there. Alright, out we go. And now... Is this, uh... Gladly take another leaf. Get out of here. Oh, now, a blarg in the quicksand, sure. And also kind of disconnected. Not exactly going to be healthy for the blarg. Too much sand. Probably doesn't want to consume every last bit of the sand. The blarg, anyway. So curving again, haunted forest. <laughs> as if we didn't find one already. But, uh, assuming behind that one door... Hey, we meet again. You should know that this part of the forest is haunted by angry spirits. Beware. Gino, are you coming in uh, the opposite direction? Why, why would you say that it's haunted now? Is it because I caught up with you? But shouldn't you have expected I'd find some anyway? You know, what were you thinking? What was I thinking? Well, I can take this, at least. What's gonna be all the way at the other side? Probably didn't even need a green switch in order to get to the other side. But with my luck, there could be something like a wall. Up. Switch, I... I will expect to switch up at the very top. We go a little bit higher. We can climb a little bit higher, at least. Uh, inside here. Alright, just another fire flower. But in a ghost house, not exactly what I would need. Not a green switch that we're dealing with. Hmm. Probably find the green switch just a little bit later, and uh, that was odd. Lost the shell. I would be able to stay on, but apparently no. And I can't take it through that way. Well, I guess all I can really do now is fly, and I don't have to go too far. This has got to be where... And it is definitely where I find that switch. Now, uh... Invisible turn blocks. You find something new every day. Oh, great. And some here, too. Yes, I suspected... We're gonna have any more than that, though. We'll take this, uh, so we can do this. And get up there! Get through the door. 
possible for me to go a bit too fast with it. Well, sort of. Could have gotten that key stuck in the stuck in the ground right there. Could have gotten pushed down below or something. You never know with some strange bugs. Well, now that we got the key, you know, would probably say the same thing to me. Yes, I suspect he would say the same thing. Am I looking at that right? Do I have to, uh... Well, start this over for one. Maybe, uh... Well, uh, I, I could understand doing that for the flower, but, uh... Just for that red switch? That just seems a little bit excessive for a regular path. Just make them appear one more time. Or... If all else fails, I suppose I can fly. But I might need the dry bones out of the way. Yeah, out of the way, please. Shrink down to just that. Okay, got some flight now. Toggle it, and thanks for those blocks right there to indicate. Sure. Now we'll head down this pipe. Compared to before, Gino, this does not look like a haunted forest. And thanks to pressing that blue switch, what did I just do? Was there a wall to the very left? Where's the P-switch? It has to be a P-switch. Yeah, I have to alternate between left and right. Just that. Press the switch, the blue switch, then the P-switch. Maybe something else to the right afterwards, but probably not. Didn't mean to do that a second time. Keep it like this. Okay, so now we're uh, making a bit more money. Making it a little easier for it to come down here. Alright. And one more time into the haunted rooms. Spikes 2. I'm gonna add to the difficulty here. Another P-switch somewhere. Another flower for me, thankfully. Thank you, Link, for indicating that I've got enough for a star. What cooperation there? Get to that... I gotta get to that red switch somehow. Again, it'll probably involve this P-switch, so... Uh, Let's jump up here first, and then to this. I think I can run. And I can. So now, uh... Just up this way. Okay, uh... We're gonna play that. So, I guess I can play shortcuts. Thank you again, P-Switch. I can speed this up a little bit. Maybe I should use... Maybe I should break the turn blocks, too. Um, now, what was the point of this? Uh, still don't quite see it. Nothing here. Now I forget which way to go back down. I cleared out the coins, so... Yeah. Well, at least here I've already broken a little something. Back down. Good. You serious? You're gonna play invisible switch blocks too. I don't know if I can really trust you. Jack Sparrow, I should say. Danger below! Press this once more so that we can get down there. Huh. What a little detour there. A little speed up there. And a reward, a star for me. Now, uh, this, uh, again, lock unlocking two paths. Splitting up here, uh, we've got the castle, of course, and, uh, world 4-1, I would have to guess. Well, let's go into the haunted mansion right now. I don't expect it to be too different from what I've had to deal with before. 
It could easily be switches again. And there goes the shell. And nothing up here this time. Alright. Still don't know if I should trust you. Take this mushroom. Well, better than nothing. Phantom minigame. Even better, though, probably that I don't even pick up the mushrooms. Well, could have been another power-up any... Um, sure. Did... Did I see that right? Okay, it's, uh... It's generating... It's generating the Shy Guy bosses and fire flowers. Okay. Don't really see a point in me entering that room. Because for this, uh... Um... Sure. I still hear something, still hear some bouncing. As I toy with switches again. Hmm. Repeatedly. Okay, the blue doors are the ones you come out, the regular ones you go in. Gonna need another key. And of course it had to be right here. So out we go. And now we unlock this. Now the red switch! Hmm, two sides. So I'm gonna have to explore every single square in this. And one more key. We should be done with this soon. So take this out and... Hmm. Alright, blue switch. And out we go! Oh, it's still there. Oh! Are you serious? about that. Let's try another direction. This time I feel better taking the mushroom, knowing that it's a mushroom based on the block to the left, or at least uh, establishing. So uh, at least this one had a fire flower in it, uh, so sorry, claim, but might blame you right back these fireballs again. Slightly different color, too, so might upset you a little bit. Green might upset the blue and make them feel blue once more. No offense to the thwomps, though. We got the bubbling blue as well. That makes someone there feel blue, especially if it smells again. Yes. Fishing Boo must have forgot something. It's bouncing around. Must have left something behind because it's haunting him back somehow, despite already being dead, I would have to assume. Okay, just forget that one switch. And now, this, uh, got the halfway point. What'll be after? Speaking of fishing boo, gonna be the opposite now. Uh, actually, uh, well, not necessarily the opposite. Maybe he actually cares for the dead animals, I would say. The dead fish, the uh, fish bones, uh, anything. Still, uh, Luigi isn't exactly fond of it. Now, if Lakitu were to do something like that, then maybe uh, Luigi could be happy. At least happier than if he was just a fish for Mario or Luigi or anyone. Thank you, regenerating fire flower. From up there, surprisingly, despite this that we have right here. Hmm. Thought they would come from up above in an infinite supply. I guess not. One more bomb, though. Should be done. So, another star for me. See you next time.